Hi, this is Jason from Effective Dashboards, helping maintenance and reliability professionals get the most out of Power BI. So welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be looking at some good practice and a neat little option for adding conditional formatting to a table if you're using these data bars. So I'll be talking you through why I think it's a good option and how to set this up. Okay, so I've got this option here where we've got this little red dot if a value is above this target here are 70%. Now, if you use data bars on a table, you can't actually conditionally format the data bars. Okay, you can select the color of the data bars, but it's applied to every data bar. Now, what you can do is you can conditionally format the background or you can conditionally format the actual text itself or the value here itself. Now, because I'm using blue here, and um, and red is the actual indicator if we've got an anomaly or something that's below this limit here, as you can see with this um, these values here. Now, if you want to know how I did these values here, then check out the video, there's a link below. Um, now, if I do actually change the text to be, um, to indicate that the value is below 70%, then you'll see here that it doesn't look good at all. Okay, the contrast is just not there, it just looks and um, it looks awkward and you can't actually read the values. So what I've done is I've added this little red dot here, which I think is neat. So I'm gonna actually go and I'm gonna apply this red dot to this value here and I'm gonna talk you through how I did it. What I did first of all is I create a new measure and it's a fairly straightforward measure, just using a switch statement and the expression is true and if this value here is true, then it's going to return this circle here, this red circle here. Otherwise, it's going to return a blank. Okay, so a really straightforward switch statement. Now, this circle here, I simply copied and pasted it from um, one of the icon websites. So this is the site that I pasted it from, and I just did a search for that red circle and, um, and just simply copied it from here and, um, and pasted it into the actual code. So it did straightforward there. So let's go and allocate that in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the columns and I'm going to take this measure here and I'm going to go and place it in the middle there. Now I'm then going to replace that with a dash and straight away we can see that these values here are below that 70%. Okay, So really straightforward, really easy and as soon as you open up this dashboard, you're gonna, your eye is going to be drawn to these red dots here, which are the anomalies that you want to, to look at. Now, the other thing I've done is I've added a, a target here. So let's copy that and we'll place it down here. And I just really want to make sure that the bottom of this text here is lined up with the bottom of that text there. So I'm going to use this as a ruler. And that looks good. And the other thing I want to do is just make sure that the edge of this target here is lined up with the edge of this percentage here. So let's just go and move that across. And we can see that's all lined up very nicely. So a little hint there, a little bit of a, an approach just to make it a lot easier to identify where the anomalies are without the issue of having the colors contrasting with the actual color of the bar. Okay, so hopefully you found this really quick video useful. If you did, it's always great if you could give it a thumbs up and much appreciated. And if you want to keep up to date with the latest videos, I tend to release one every week, then hit the subscribe button and you'll get a wee notification in your YouTube account whenever I publish a new video. Thanks again and I'll talk to you in the next video.